Hey everyone, let's talk about pins in your camera. Super 8 cameras. Okay, these are super important. Super 8 important. Never mind. Inside, like, every single Super 8 camera ever made are these pins. Well, okay, sometimes they're pins, sometimes it's a little staircase, and sometimes it's this lever slider thing. They're right here, just a nice little northeastern trip up from the film gate where your film is exposed. So this is the film compartment of your Super 8 camera and this, this is where the magic happens. Now depending on what kind of camera you have, you'll have either more or less pins. The pins inside your camera tell the built-in light meter on these things what the ISO is of the film you put inside of it. Again, ISO is the light sensitivity, so we want the camera to expose for the right stuff that you put inside of it. Okay, so here's how this genius little system works. The Super 8 cartridge will have a notch at the front right here. A different size notch for different film ISOs. So when you pop one of these little cartridges of fun into your camera, it will push down on your pins or your staircase or your slider or whatever it is and set the ISO in the camera. So the more choices for the cartridge to push, the wider range of film types that can be used. Sometimes the camera might tell you, oh look, this guy only handles film up to 160 ISO and it only has one pin inside of it. This one, four pins. Great. That means a good range for auto exposure. This Nikon here, a beast. It's got this slider. This Hishika, a staircase. Sliders and staircases are good. So are multiple pins. Watch out for those single pin cameras that only have auto exposure because they won't play super well with those fancy 500 ISO films, leading to some overexposure usually. So what I'm saying is check your camera's pins. Or don't, it's up to you. Anyways, I'm Noah, this is Analog Essentials, and I'll see you in the movies. Check the description for links and stuff and support me on Patreon and we can keep this whole thing going until the end of time. And of course, if you got little questions that you want to see me cover in the Analog Essentials videos, throw it in the comments down below.